Good morning students. My name is Arpana Priya Barnes, lecturer in English, GSIPU College, Mysuru. In today's class, we are going to study or we are going to learn one of the simplest, humorous and philosophical short stories written by Vaikam Muhammad Bashir, that is Oru Manushyan. Before we learn the values of this story, let us have a glance on the author that is Vaikam Muhammad Bashir. Vaikam Muhammad Bashir is famous for his simple way of writing. So he writes in a simple man's language. So Vaikam Muhammad Bashir, he was born on January 21st, 1908 in Vaikam, that is Kerala. So he was a writer, humanist, freedom fighter and a short story writer. So his notable works include Balya Kala Saki, Shabdangal, Janmadinam and Anarga Nimisham and many more etc. There are plenty lot of works are there. And the government of India awarded him the fourth highest civilian honor of the Padma Shri in the year 1982. He was also a recipient of Sahitya Academy Fellowship in the year 1970 and Kerala Sahitya Academy Fellowship in 1970 and also he has won Kerala State Film Award for Best Story in the year 1989. And he is not only just famous for his simple way of writing but also he is famous for or he is also known for sympathetic portrayal of joys and sorrows of human beings. His stories or his works have been translated to English and many other Indian languages as well. This Urumanushan is basically written in Malayalam. Later, it is translated to English by V. Abdullah. This is basically a Malayalam story. Today, we are going to have a translated story that is Oru Manushyan. So, you might be wondering. So, it is a translation work. So, it is translated to English. The story has been translated to English. But why the title they have given it as Oru Manushyan? Whereas, they have retained the Malayalam title itself. You might be wondering what is the reason? Yes. So, the reason is in order to relish the flavor of the originality, they have retained the Malayalam title that is Oru Manushyan. So, the translation of the Oru Manushyan which means the man. Okay. The translation of the chapter or a title is the man. So, the main theme or basically this story stresses on the importance of understanding the need of human values and the need to help fellow human beings when they are caught in strange situations. So, it mainly highlights on human values and morality. So, let us not waste our time. So, students open page number 30, chapter 4, Oru Manushyan, written by Vaikam Muhammad Bashir. Okay, students, open your text and please follow when I am reading the text. You have no definite plans. You are wandering around far away from home. You have no money with you. You do not know the local language. You can speak English and Hindustani. But very few people know either of these languages. This can land you in many predicaments. Many adventure can befall you. So here author wants to take us to an imaginary land or his world. So he is asking us to imagine. So just imagine you are very far from your home. Okay, so you are very far and you don't know anybody in that place. You are in, you have landed in a foreign land. You have landed in a foreign place where you don't know anybody in that land or in that city. You have no money with you. You don't know their local language nor people can understand your language because you know only English and Hindustani. Hindustani is Hindi. 
you know only english and hindi you don't know any other language what those people speak in the place where you have landed up neither they understand your language how it would be just imagine you don't know anybody you don't have friends you don't have family members you have no money you don't know the language even to converse nothing so how it would be this seems to be very unusual isn't it these kind of situations can definitely lead us to some unexpected dangerous and embarrassing movement right because you have no one no money no money you don't know the language so anything can happen unexpected situations can happen where you may fall into some dangerous situations right yeah you find yourself caught in a dangerous situation a total stranger rescues you even after years passes by you will sometimes remember the man and wonder why he did so so imagine you have not just ended up in a foreign land but also you have fallen into a trap you have also caught in a dangerous situation in order to ask for help you know no one and those people are not so kind enough to come forward to help you when when situation is like this how will you feel or how do you feel you feel frustrated right you feel helpless and hopelessness when you will be feeling helpless and hopeless what if someone comes from nowhere as a savior what if someone whom you don't know comes to you and rescues you from that situation even after many years even after many decades you remember the face and whenever you remember the face you will wonder why did he help you even though you are not acquainted to him why did he help you like that you will keep thinking isn't it let us say it is i not you who remembers the man so far author was asking us to imagine but now wills that it is not you who remembers the man it is i so what does that mean which means it is understood that maybe author should have been caught in such dangerous situation it was the author it was bashir who was caught in that dangerous situation and he was rescued by a man he is a total stranger so he is a total stranger to him so it was the author who knew only hindustani and english it is he who did not have money with him and it is he who went far away from his home so it, it is understood that it is the bashir or it is the author who was caught in dangerous situation and he was rescued or he was saved by a total stranger so he remembers the man who saved his life when he was stuck in that situation and he wonders why did he help me though he wasn't acquainted to him why did he help like that author is thinking it is not us but whereas it is author who is thinking about or he is remembering the man who saved his life once in that foreign land or a unknown city i am now narrating an experience which i had i have some vague notions about human beings including myself there are around me good men and thieves those who suffer from various infectious diseases and from madness one has to live carefully the world has more evil than good we realize this only after we get hurt now the author is going to share one of his embarrassing situation or embarrassing experience with the readers so he says it is very difficult to understand human beings he has 
some vague notions about human being that is he is having difficulty in understanding human beings especially after he went through a strange situation he says there are different kinds of people who live among us there are some kind of people who are very good there are also thieves there are also some people who suffer from various infectious diseases there are also people who are mad so mad or insane so they are insane about it can be about money or fame authority anything there are different kinds of insanes living among us so understanding each and every one is not easy it is very difficult as per his realization he says one has to be very careful while residing among those people that is because we feel or we believe that everything around us and everyone around us are very good because the world is full of foul characters than good before we introduce to some harsh realities of life we feel everything and everyone around us are very good but the world is filled with more evils than good only when we get hurt or cheated this will come to our knowledge only after we after we come across such predicaments so that's the reason he says it is very difficult to understand human beings let me record here that incident which was perhaps quite insignificant now the author is going to share one of his experiences which supports his statement that he has some vague notions about human being so he is going to narrate one such experience which he had or which he faced so he says he wants to share one of the experiences and it is no way a significant one so he wants readers to come to a conclusion whether that is significant or insignificant one it was quite a big city in the valley of a mountain some 1500 miles from home the inhabitants of which had never been known for the quality of mercy they were a cruel people murder robbery pickpocketing these were daily occurrences so here author begins the story with a description of a place and people who lived in that city first is about the city or the place so the place where author lived was a very big city in a valley of a mountain it was 1500 miles away from his home the inhabitants or the people who lived in that city were very cruel they were never known for the quality of mercy so they didn't know the meaning of mercy or they had no quality of mercy murder robbery pickpocketing these were daily occurrences it was the daily routine of those people there they were very cruel by tradition the people were professional soldiers some of them went to distant places and lent out money on interest many others served as watchmen in banks mills and large commercial establishments in big cities money was highly valued by them for money they would do anything even commit murder these people who lived in that city traditionally they were soldiers and many went to distant places far away places in order to lend money they were money lenders and they were watchmen in mills big factories and commercial establishments commercial establishment establishment which means hotels restaurants theater or any other amusement parks 
over there they were watchmen's by looking at their profession one can see that they are, they were not highly educated right so for these people money was highly valued so they would go to any extent in order to earn money they used to go to an extent where they were ready to kill anybody or they were ready to commit any murder for the sake of money so they were mad about money so these people were insane about money they would go they would do anything for that they would do anything for the sake of money so money was highly important to them so money was highly valued than a person money was much more than a person's life so for them money was highly valued you can just imagine how difficult it would be for author to live amongst those kind of people so this is about the place and the people of the city in the next paragraph he is going to share his routine that is author's routine i stayed in that city in a very small dingy room on a dirty street i carried on a profession there teaching english to some migrant laborers from 9:30 till 11 in the night i taught them to write address in english learning to write an address in english was considered great education you must have seen people who write addresses at the post office they were paid anything between 1 ana and 4 ana for writing an address so there was nothing exciting about author's daily routine author stayed in a big city though he was in a big city he stayed in a small dingy room dingy means where there is no sufficient light that is dark room he stayed in a dark room on a dirty street so there he carried on a profession so that is he was teaching english to a migrant laborers so he was teaching english for those migrant laborers from 9:30 to 11 in the night so he was teaching from 9:30 to 11 because those migrant laborers they used to go to work in the morning that is till evening and at night they used to come to this author and they they were getting training to write addresses in english so one has to appreciate this migrant laborers they used to work from morning till evening they will be tired though they were tired their interest to learn was excellent exceptionally well so one has to appreciate this migrant laborers so our author was teaching those migrant laborers to write addresses in english because those days in post offices there were people who were appointed in order to write addresses in english if they write address in english properly they were paid anything between 1 ana and 4 ana that is the reason migrant laborers used to go to author to get training to write address in english a rupee comprised 16 annas learning to write address in english was considered to be a great education there and in the post offices whoever writes this address they were paid anything between 1 and 4 annas i taught the skill of writing address to people in order to escape the same fate myself and to see if i could save some money here author says he was teaching them english or he was teaching them to write address in english that is because he wanted to escape from the same fate what those people were facing what fate is he talking about you might wonder so let us go back to the nature of the people where those people were very cruel and 
in order to earn money they can go to any extent they would go to even murder a person so in order to escape from that author didn't want to become like them so that's the reason in order to be different from them in order to earn money in a right way he was teaching those migrant laborers to write address in english so that he will not become like them and save some money in those days i would sleep all day and wake up at 4 in the evening this was to save the expense of drinking my morning tea or eating the noon meal so when author lived in that big city in a small dingy room he used to wake up at 4 in the evening that is 4 pm that is because in order to save the expenses of morning tea and afternoon meal afternoon meal he used to sleep the entire day and he used to wake up at 4 in the evening so that he can teach those migrant laborers and earn money it shows how difficult the life was for the author in the big city we discussed about the place and the city where author lived and also we learnt about author's daily routine we'll stop a class today and we'll continue in the next session thank you